Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Hysteria with Alexa Pache Games. On the last episode, I raged. A lot. We also had dinner with Chancellor Bartlow at the palace, which you can see in the background, um, and then I had to escape through the sewers. That's basically all that happened. We had dinner. Alicia's getting sent to Blake Town. Stuff other, other stuff happened. We fought a boss. I died a lot against a boss. And now we are going to head to the inn. I am back on my normal save file by the way and not on the new game plus, as you can possibly tell by the fact that I'm running quite slowly and uh, um, my levels are lower. <sighs> Sorry again about last time and I feel like I should just keep apologising for it. Guess we caused yet another scene. Hooray for us! Well, at least we got rid of the malevolence. Incidentally, I suppose. But even so, I'm glad. It feels like now there's nothing we've left undone. You say that like it's your end. In a way, it is. I have decided I'm going to Marland. That's a plague town. You can't really mean to obey them. Whatever twisted motives the Chancellor may carry, the Order is official. And besides... It doesn't change the fact that Marland is suffering. I want to do everything I can for the people of Highland. Alicia. The council may laugh, but so be it. All right, then I'm going with you. You can't get involved. I've already caused you so many problems. But how do you plan on getting to Marland? The bridge is washed away. Well, I don't know. Four heads are better than one. And we have excellent foreheads. Besides, we need that bridge too, after all. Thank you. No need to thank us. Dinner last night was off the chain. All right, let's go check on the state of the bridge. That sounds like a great plan, Lila. Okay. <sighs> oh, Alicia's title leveled up. Well, that means she's got a new description on it. Let's have a look. Um, right, it's here. Right, so now her title is Patriotic Princess. One who does everything within her power for the sake of her people and her home, no matter what may become of her. That's so nice. I don't know if I actually... Yeah, Mickley has one now that just sub Lord Friend. Um, which I don't know if I actually mentioned in one of the last episodes, but it's until today he was his childhood friend, now he has a brother in arms too. Just in case that I didn't say it. Um, and Saray also has Curious Cat now, which is the world is full of secrets and mysteries. Curiosity is the key that opens all doors. He has so many. Well, in any case, um, let's see what Alicia has to say. Marlin's south of Lady Lake, right? That's right. It's just beyond Griffith Brew. That's right. It's just beyond Griffith Bridge where we met Uno. I just hope the bridge is repaired by the time we arrive. Well, I would hope so too. I mean, how long has it been since then? It feels like forever. <laughs> Maybe that's because I've been replaying the same part of the game over and over again. Again, I'll stop going on for that. Okay. So let's head to Griffith Bridge and see whether or not it is doing okay. I was going to skip there, but I just remember that there should be a skit at the save point. Yep, here we go. The Scattered Bones, the Assassin's Guild. I still can't get over their skills! You mean those assassins? Yeah. From what I could sense, they're practically Hellion class. They're still just regular humans, aren't they? I think so. Mm. But why aren't they Hellions? Well, maybe they're good people? Good people? They're the most feared Assassin's Guild on the continent! You know about the Scattered Bones? Scarcely a soul doesn't. No one's seen their faces and lived to tell the tale, so this is all just conjecture. But rumor holds that they've been involved in close to a hundred assassinations. Nobility, military officers, underworld bosses... I'd always thought them just a colorful urban myth, but... Given their fighting skills, I'd say they're the real deal. 
And yet it is a fact that they were not Hellions. Do you think there is a reason for this? That I could not say. A reason they don't turn into Hellions? Please don't tell me you want to hunt them down and ask. Who knows? We might meet him again whether we like it or not. Boy, lucky us. <laughs> Mikleo's expressions are just my pride and joy. Honestly. Oh yeah, I forgot we have treasure detection on, so that treasure chest has still got stuff in it again. Let's just pop on over there while ignoring the snake. The snake ignored us. We ran right past it. Command shoes. Hmm. Oh wow, I have two pairs of them now. Oh yeah, these are the ones that were really awful. It does have a two stack on it, which is good. But it's it, it's crap and parameters. If I ever need a double Rangus, then I know where to go. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna head over to Falcon Hill side now. There we go. As you can see, it's no longer raining here because we solved that problem. Did we solve the problem of the bridge though? Guess we'll find out. I finished preparing the bottles. Thanks, Alicia. No one has done any work on it? How could this be? Excuse me. Well, that's definitely not good. Okay. Before we head over to see Leisha, or rather to see that guy with the star on it, we do have a skit, which is fixing the bridge. They don't really believe Saray is the shepherd at all. Good. Better than them expecting too much of him. Besides, I'm sure Saray has bigger things on his mind right now. Like fixing the bridge, you mean? Yeah. I can't believe how little progress has been made. I guess Marland is going to be quarantined for a little while longer. I want to do something to help them. <sighs> I've just realized that that sketch should have gone after... Um, we're supposed to talk to the people near the bridge. And that sketch should have gone after that. Well... Let's see how they think that we're not the shepherd, I guess. Let's talk to this guy. They're saying they'll all fix the bridge, but there are no regular soldiers here at all. They've put us mercenaries on the job? I might want to turn my nose up at a paying job, but this all sounds backwards to me. <laughs> I don't know what that voice went into at the end there. Um, I'm not going to talk to all of them. I'm just trying to remember. I think it might be these ones here. If there's disease over there, I'd say we're better off without the bridge. It's a bit cruel to the Marlin folks, but it's also them. Well, that's certainly unpleasant. But we can't blame them either. I suppose anyone would be scared of an epidemic. Yeah, that's the main one that I wanted to get in there, because that's the only one where you actually hear them speaking about it. In any case, I don't think there's an item over there, but I'm just going to double check, because... Is there a herb? I always think that there is. And then there never turns out to be one. I can't see one from over here. So it should be fine. Sorry, I'm procrastinating. Let's go and talk to this random old dude over here. <sighs> oh, that's a curious outfit. You must be the shepherd. Yes, I'm Saray. I am Naif, a representative of Marland, the town on the other side of the river. Lord Soray, I hear that you were able to stop the rampage of the Water Spirit. I cannot possibly thank you enough. Oh gosh, it was nothing. Hey, Mr. Naif, was there something that you wanted to discuss with me? Ah, well, you see... Thanks to your heroic efforts in putting a stop to the water spirit, the currents have calmed considerably, and we should be able to repair the bridge. But I'm afraid it's still taking too long. I have to make my way back and deliver this medicine at all costs. Huh, I see. Then... Serene. I, uh... No, 
I apologize. It was wrong for me to ask favors of you just because you're the Shepherd. The destruction of the bridge itself was a warning to those who have forgotten their gratitude toward the Seraphim. I shall bear that in mind, and devote my energies to aid in restoring this bridge. I'm terribly sorry I couldn't help you. Please, don't fret. Your very existence is a beacon of hope to us all. We should be thanking you for appearing in such dismal times. I'll see if there's anything I can do on my end as well. I'm really sorry. He's a good man. He hasn't forgotten his sense of gratitude to the Seraphim. I really want to help him somehow. Lila, is there nothing I can do to aid him? I ask as well. If it's just so Ray and his squire Alicia, I should be able to use my powers to cross the river. We can take the medicine with us. But if Saray uses his power as a shepherd to carry someone's goods, then everyone else will want to turn to use him as their own personal delivery boy. And we're not a freight company, you mean? Then maybe we can ask a ferry captain to... But then that ferry captain would just wind up having to deal with the same issue. So, you're saying we should start by addressing the root of the problem? Meaning we should just help restore the bridge, huh? And in a way that won't cause people to rely too much on the Shepherd afterwards. I wonder if we could maybe build the foundation for the bridge out of rock. Ask the Earth Seraph to help raise a riverbed or something. That's definitely something only the Shepherd could do and the repairs that followed afterwards could be left up to the people. How about that? Very well. That sounds good to me. To the west looms a mountain known as the Spirit Crest. If I'm not mistaken, an Earth Seraph dwells there. Let's tell Alicia! Ooh. So it might be being a new Seraph. Excited for this. Right, okay, let's go and talk to Alicia. Do you have a moment? Hey, I'd like to discuss this further with you later. Be ready. If you say so. Trouble? Well, I want to assist with the reconstruction too. For Marlin's sake. I asked, but... Not going as well as you'd hoped? I'm not the sort to give up so easily. I just need more time to explain how I can be of service. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? Yeah, I'm thinking we should talk to an Earth Seraph who lives on the Spirit Crest about helping with the reconstruction. They could change the riverbed to form the bridge's foundation. You... you can do something like that? It's definitely a possibility. Saray, I would like to properly convince everyone that I can help here. Would it be a bother if I were to stay behind? Nah, we should be fine. Do what you need to do. We're counting on you, Alicia. Right. Leave everything to me. Then we're off to the Spirit Crest. See you in a bit. I beg your pardon, but did you just say you were going to the Spirit Crest? Is there a problem? Rayfolk Spirit Crest is best avoided if you value your life. There is a reason that mountain is so frequently mentioned in the legends of the dragons. It is a place in which no man should set foot. Legends of the dragons? I don't remember anything like that coming up in the celestial record. Tell me, do you know the legend of the Eight Serpents? That's the legend found in every culture of the Eight Dragons who betrayed the Seraphim and were banished to the Underworld. Hmm. Our tales tell 
that one of those dragons still remains in Rayfolk Spirit Crest. But the Celestial Record doesn't mention anything like that. Perhaps not. It's hardly reasonable to think that all the legends in the world can be encompassed in a single tome. I appreciate the warning. But even so, that's where I'm headed. But... It'll be fine. Lila's never heard of that legend either. I mean, considering Lila is our main source of information other than Mikleo. Yeah, let's trust her on this. Okay. So, um, the pop-up there was basically to ex explain that we now can only fight with two people in our party. Um, Lila will not be in our battling party so long as we do not have a second human. So, thanks Alicia for giving us a handicap. <laughs> It should be fine though, if the difficulty is too high for me after um, this area, then I can probably just put it down. Not that I want to do that. Here we are, Rayfall Spirit Crest. I mean, it's definitely impressive. Right, let's head up the mountain. Or rather, let's head up the safe point. The Spirit Crest, the Dragon's Lair. The mountain certainly is impressive up close. Yeah, I can see why they call it Spirit Crest. But still, dragons? Probably just a story some bard made up. Certainly the last time I was here, there was never any sign of one. You mean on your journey with the previous shepherd? Hey, uh, let's play a game. Pick a number, one through ten. Got you! It was twelve. She's off the rails. <sighs> Must be that pesky oath of hers again. Anyway, if there really were a dragon there, we wouldn't stand a chance against it. So what? If we run into one, we better hightail it out of there? Hopefully we don't run into one at all. Where did I go wrong? Oh, for God's sake, Mecleo, you're just getting as bad as Saray. Um, right, give me half a second here. Right, okay, let's go and see what this is all about. It's already spotted an enemy, so I guess we're gonna have to do a fight. Right, okay. L level 72. This, this sounds doable. Let's be to ours, so... Oh, I, I mean, it's just guarding. Oh, no, okay, I should try to attack my boy. Oh, don't die. Oh, no. Let me heal Serene. Oh, my God. <laughs> man, oh, man. What a bunch of amateurs. Can't take the heat, huh? Looks like Zavid here is gonna have to show you first timers how it's done. And Hellions belong in hell. We could have safely quelled it. There was no need to kill it. Looked to me like you were just getting your asses kicked back there. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. What? Why? <laughs> oh, that's rich. I can always count on the shepherd and his posse to be a bunch of goody two shoes, can't I? You knew I was the Shepherd? A self-righteous choir boy facing off against a Hellion. Who else would you be? The name's Zavid. 
Damn pleased to make your acquaintance, gentle shepherd. How dare you! The Spirit Crest is way out of your league. If a dragon were even to yawn in your general direction, you'd be gone. We are not here to battle dragons. Your concern is noted. You're not? Well, that's no fun. Nothing adds spice to life like a sworn enemy. I take it you are here to fight the dragon, then? That had been the plan, yes. But plans, they change. You serious? <laughs> Looking pretty good, aren't I? Zavid, what is it you want? Do you really think I'd be willing to just drop the shepherd and his toadies into the dragon's lap so we can gobble them right up? Well, guess this is happening. You could have at least healed me! Oh god. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Um. If you're so. Ha! Okay. Eager to get eaten by the dragon and compound his power. It's better that you die by my hand! Here and now! Okay. Zavid. Zavid. <laughs> he's a seraph with enormous power. It seems like he's taking us seriously, but still, we'd better not let our guards down, even for a moment. The only way to deal with him is to go all out when he's off guard. Let's make use of both amortization and its release function when we fight him. That is a very good idea. Oh, let me- Oh, Sarei! I don't want you to die! That was an awful idea. I mean, that much is obvious, Sarei. Why are we fighting this guy? Oh my god, if it had let me heal in the first place. Oh my word. Uh, yeah, let's go for our defense. Bloody hell, okay. We can't hold back if we want to win. Oh, so eager to get eaten back. by the dragon and compound his power. It's better that you die by my hand. Here and now. Heavenly power. Heavenly power. That did it. Who's off the line? Ocean Saint Blade. We shoot. Saint Zero. Ocean Blade. I heard a song like that. Bah, not bad. This is great for it. enough, okay? You're the one who attacked us! I said I'm sorry already, sheesh. I'm not your enemy. Let's call a truce. Deal? Fair enough. There's no reason for us to fight. See? Somebody here has their head on straight. And besides, we're all part of the same team in the end. Know what I mean? Are we? Sure, I don't plan on becoming anyone's sublord. Zavid! Alright, alright already. I'll leave you alone, your shepherdness. It's Saray. Sure, sure, Saray the shepherd. Well, I got better things to do. Don't forget to run if you see a dragon. Is it really true that a dragon lives here? You got eyes, don't you, Saray? Why don't you try using them? What is that guy's problem? His power. It doesn't feel like purification at all. Almost more like it feeds on malevolence. <clears throat> I can't respect someone like that. A Seraph who would just kill a Hellion. Yeah. It's sickening. 
Let's be off. We have our own agenda to fulfill. Right. Oh, that was painful. In more ways than one. Okay. At least the second time, I think I actually played that with a bit more strategy than the first time. And I managed to get to the end of that without too many problems. Um, before we go and search for the Earth Seraph, though, let's take a look at this dead body. Just a moment. I want to bury them. Saray. He feels responsible. Let's go, Miklia. Lila. Oh, My poor boy. Okay. Uh, actually, we don't really need to heal, although I do have a new battle action. Push for guard. Ugh. Yeah, definitely not do that one. Right, cool. That would be the kind of thing you'd get from Zafid, wouldn't it? Oh, hello. Stand Armadillos. They have information. The armadillo is famed for its ability to curl up into a ball, but it can also roll up into a ball, and occasionally it coils up into a ball. Okay, that, that's really oh. useful. Thank you, Lila. It's an armadillo! I'm sure it'll curl up. Oh, you're what? sure, huh? Tiger Blade! What? What? Good, Please don't kill Suri. All is done here. <laughs> I love the last so chill and Suri's just dying in the corner. I better heal him. Okay. Um You know what? Maybe I should make use of these herbs now since they're quite useful. They actually heal your ma max HP and CP at the same time. So let's make a use of one of these. Uh we'll, we'll do the max one. Uh actually no, Suri doesn't need max. Ugh, what, what does he not have? Okay, his art defense is pretty low, so his art attack. His art defense is what I would really want to um, boost. So, Saffron. There we go, he's healed now. Lila can survive. She won't be in the party for a little bit. Probably. Depending on who I have to fight next. Oh. Oh, I know who I have to fight next. Okay. <laughs> hey! Aren't you from the Assassin's Guild? Why would you be after me? Do you realize how disturbed the people have become? With someone like you running around pretending to be the shepherd? Huh? But I mean, I am the shepherd! Care to prove it, shepherd? As if you could! Well, that's it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna quickly switch to the Nucleo and we can have a look at this guy's information. An assassin who jumped out of- An assassin who jumped us out of nowhere. Thankfully, he wasn't able to see Seraphim, which helped, but he was still pretty strong. Again, my, my favorite thing about having human enemies in this game. Because a lot of the time, they just can't Die. see your Seraphim. Means I can do it. Oh, this crap, and he doesn't even see me. Until I get in there. That was easy. Look at that! I got 104 grade for that! He's supposed to be a powerful enemy, though. Such strength! We should run. Something's odd about this. You're right. They don't seem to be Hellions. Agreed. If anything, I think they're intentionally giving us a chance to escape. I wonder if they'll still target me. 
short people problems when you try to put your arm around someone's neck and you have to hold it above their head because you're too short. I sh oh, why do I have Lila in my party? Don't protect everyone! Sorry. So is that a human or a bird? Some things you're just better off not knowing. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh dear. Okay, let's read the information! A person whose arms transformed into wings when she became a Hellion. Or was it a bird who picked up some human bits? Well, as Lila says, some things you're just better off not knowing, I guess. I'm just spamming control, I apologize. I have no strategy. This is nothing. If you say so, Mick. Okay, where are we going? Oh, monolith. I passed that completely. Right, okay. These orcs are the same as the ones that were the Galahad ruins, if I believe correct. No, not the Galahad ruins, the Vivi Subterranean Aqueduct. So let's just sure hope this is edible. Bypass the star and go and see the Sarvadil instead. All this fighting sure makes me hungry. Lila, you've been acting a little funny. Everything okay? Oh, sorry. I'm quite picky about the way things curl up into a tight ball. The way things curl up? Yes. It was the Armadillo Seraphim who taught me the true splendor of it. I'm disappointed in the Hellion we encountered. Very amateur hour. The Armadillo Seraphim? I'm kind of not following this. The Armadillo Seraphim. Arma Walt and Arma Langston. You know, the legendary three-time curling champions. No, I don't know. I'm kind of not at all following this. It was they who told me of the world's greatest curlist, Arma Dillon, who left years ago on a journey to master the curl. What I wouldn't give to see that ultimate curl. It's my dream. Mikleo, is she okay? Something tells me we should just let this one slide. Yeah. Arma Dillon, where hast thou gone? And that folks is the reason why I wanted to see, to fight that army. You cannot avoid this battle. God freaking damn it. Everyone okay? Yeah, these battles are definitely starting to get harder. I'm gonna need to do some grinding at some point probably. Um I'll wait until Alicia's back in the party though. Let's go. Saray? What happened to your usual archaeology fever? I'm quite sure there's all sorts of things to research about that shrine. I can't say I'm not interested. But there are people suffering right now because they're missing a bridge. I'll deal with it. There'll be plenty of other times for exploring. I'm glad. I feel I may have been misjudging you this whole time. Please, forgive me. No need to apologize. Saray's usually so predictable. Very true. I predict we'll talk later, Mick Leo. <laughs> like, I've always wondered, did they actually talk later about that? I, I just, I find that quite funny. Right, this, <laughs> this is a discovery point. Uh, this small shrine with flowers. This place sure is beautiful. I imagine the dragon legend keeps people away. So there isn't much chance for malevolence to accumulate. There's some sort of shrine as well. Seraphim do live here. Maybe all that talk about a dragon on the mountain was started intentionally by humans who were trying to protect the shrine. Hmm. Well, even if that's true, it doesn't look like it was very effective. Look at this. Someone left flowers. Proof that people ventured all the way up here. A shrine, and yet no Seraphim in sight. It is a bit curious. A seraph doesn't usually wander far from the shrine where he's worshipped. Could the dragon have gotten him? Who can say? But if there really were a dragon here, I would expect far more malevolence in this area. We'll have to move on and find out. Yeah. Guess that makes sense. Okay. Such a nice little shrine though. Right, that's... I had my rock but it's also a silver chest, so there's no point in going over there. Ugh. Yeah, I hear ya. I hear you, babe. I'm just not going to come and fight you. Right, we are almost at the summit. We're getting there. 
we are getting there. <sighs> we are getting there. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, this dungeon seriously just tires me out. <laughs> we should have us get here, though, the mysterious seraph. What's with that guy? I kind of want to ask her about that guy just now. He's always just so blasé. I also want to ask about that strange item he had. And what nerve! Being so scantily clad in front of a lady like that? Maybe now's not a good time to bother her. Good call. <laughs> I love how angry she is about it. What is this? Is this the domain? It can't be. Are you saying malevolence could corrupt a domain this far? We should escape! The strongest entity in the domain decides its form. It has nothing to do with right or wrong, or malevolence. <sighs> but... It's just like with Gramps. The lord of this land must have detected our intrusion. <sighs> Legendary harbinger of destruction. A dragon! <laughs> Well, this is bad. Running won't do us a bit of good. This is all my fault. I was going off my own memories and just assumed that any talk of dragons was baseless. So, you mean this dragon is a recent addition to the mountain? No, it can't be. Are you Edna? Oh, Edna! I can't believe it! You! A dragon! Nope. Guess again. Huh? There are two Ednas? Your conclusion is peculiar. Brother, you must stop. Brother? So even my voice no longer reaches you. He's coming. Run like the wind. Is she the Seraph we were looking for, Lila? She is. Does this look like the time to chat? Move! Oh, it's my girl, and also my boy. Oh dear. Uh, sorry, I'm in pain. Let's escape. Focus on defense. I got. I mean, yeah, it doesn't attack you if you don't. Let's just get out alive. Is there a school you go to to get that dumb? Huh? You crave the fame of being a dragon slayer? Is that it? Edna! I thought you really had become a dragon! Thank goodness! Well, you haven't changed. People would respect you more if you actually worked on your personality. Actually, we came here looking for you. And so you marched into a dragon's territory? You guys really did go to Dum Dum Academy. Why, you? I'm sorry. <sighs> so? Huh? Was there something you wanted? Oh, yeah. I'm Saray. We need you to lend us your power. We were hoping you could make the foundation for a bridge so it can be repaired. No. Huh? I despise Earth Dwellers. Self-centered, emotional. But when they need something, it's, Oh, dear Seraphim, heed my prayer! Heed this, morons. And besides, I can't leave my brother as he is right now. That dragon, he's your brother? Yes, that's correct. That is Aizen. He's the only family I have. But, Edna, was it? It's too dangerous for you to stay here. That's right. What do you even plan on doing? Well, I... Um... I thought there had to be some way to cure his condition, but I haven't found anything. Well, there we go. I bet I can quell him. Seriously? Once the Seraph has become a dragon, even the flames of purification cannot salvage them. Are you saying... 
There's no way to save her brother? The only option I know of is to kill him. If we even can, that is. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. I don't want to admit it, but... Either way, it's dangerous to be here. I won't ask you to help us after all, but you should get far away from here. I agree. This is none of your business. Look, Edna. Leave me alone. I guess her cooperation won't come so easily. We'll find some other way. The more important thing is, we can't leave her here like this. True enough. Well, then I guess we'd better go after her. Oh, I love her so much. I love Edna. I'm so glad she's here. Oh my gosh. I just love her. Also, random thought that I had when, um, when that scene was going on. Serene and McLeo were both out of breath, but Lila wasn't, and neither was Edna. I don't know whether that's to do with their stamina, or whether it's to do with perhaps the idea that Seraphim don't actually need to breathe. I mean, they probably do need to breathe, but like, imagine if they didn't actually need to breathe in the same way that humans do, and Lila and Edna, because they're older Seraphim, just haven't bothered breathing, because they haven't been around humans in the way that Mikley was raised with Saray, so the two of them kind of bounce off each other so much that Mikley has probably just naturally learned to breathe. <laughs> or something like that. Oh my god, imagine if all the Seraphim in Alicia, in Alicia had to learn how to breathe, like, as a habit, just so that Saray wouldn't think that he could survive without breathing. That would be hilarious. Finished! Would you like some? I'm fine for now, thanks Lila. Edna! What's this? Did you bury them? Yeah. It was the least I could have done. Huh. Edna. Enough. I don't care how dangerous it is. I'm not going anywhere. Fine. Then let's go together, and find some way to save Aizen. Didn't I tell you already? There is no way. I'm not so sure about that. Hmm? The Seraphim, the Shepherds, the Dragons, they really did exist. There are still so many legends, which have yet to be uncovered in this world. There must be a way to purify the Dragons somewhere, just waiting for the right person to find it. There he goes again. Not now. You're asking me to believe that? Yes. Can you give us a chance? All right, Saray. You win. I'll go with you. Wonderful! But let's be clear. Huh? If you really wanted to take me with you, you should have just dragged me kicking and screaming. Let's go hunt legends, my lady. My noble heart would not deceive thee. That went out of fashion a few hundred years ago. I... I didn't think I was... Surrey's never been in fashion. Okay, Lila. Make me your sublord. Wait a minute. I didn't mean for you to... You're the one that invited me, aren't you? Yes, but still. And in any case, if I'm supposed to leave here, I need to be transferred into a new vessel. If not, I'll be corrupted by malevolence. Or didn't you think about that? Well... Academy valedictorian, this one. Come on, Lila. Are you really okay with this? You were just telling us how much you hate humans. I do hate humans, but I guess this one's pretty okay. Thank you, Edna. Promise me something. Promise me that we'll find some way to save Aizen. Together. Oh, 
ye born of firmest resolve. Here let our pact be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite aloud your name. Hafsen Yuland. Use this. Edna, you were already carrying a divine artifact to serve as your vessel? Looks like we've been had, Saray. <laughs> I never did understand girls. Now then, take me with you. To the outside world. You got it! Here we go, Edna! I'm just so pleased. I am so happy. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Guys, Edna's in my party! Hey you, water boy. You got a name? Miklio, not water boy. Miklio, not water boy? That's a new one. Call me what you like. See if I care. Okay, Mebo. It's Miklio, all right? Miklio! <laughs> if you say so. Well, I see who runs this household. Yep. Whoa, what? Since when was this a household? Yeah! Can you guys not practice your comedy routines inside my head? <laughs> I forgot that skit was um, not triggered at the same point. But I, I just, I love that skit so much. I live for it. In any case. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am just so happy that Edna's part of my party now. I am so pleased. Um, oh, it sounds so silly. Anyway, I've run over a little bit, so I'm going to stop here. <laughs> Apologies for getting so emotional. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave me some comments down below and let me know um, what you think of Edna so far. And also what you think of Zavid. Good old Zavid. <laughs> um, is there anything else? You know what? I can't think of anything off the top of my head. So let, let me know your opinions on Edna and Zavid down below. Um, thank you again for watching. I, I apologise for my rambling. But I don't apologise for saying how much I love Edna because I love her to pieces. Oh my word. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. I, I, I'm genuinely crying. Oh my god, Edna, I love her. Huh? There are two Ednas? Your conclusion is peculiar. It's my girl. You must stop. I love her so much. Mother? <laughs> so even my voice no longer reaches you. It was worth everything we just to get to this point.